Okay, so I have typed in Chris Froome into Google, and we've got all this stuff. Chris Froome could lose Veltatol after abnormal drugs test result. Uh, everyone's called it abnormal. Um, uh, Chris Froome on Twitter has said. Uh, let's have a look what Chris Froome has said on Twitter. This is, I never, ever thought this would happen. I never, ever thought this would happen. I, I didn't think that uh, the UCI would allow such a large profile uh athlete to uh, be busted um so i can't confirm get the bottom of this can't share information blah 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 blah, blah. well basically it is um you know so he won chris won the velta and yeah, i see it in there some carbs oh i thought chris was doing low carb diet he's he's dipping that into almost into chocolate um but yeah chris Froome is is the gun rider and he was in Australia. I think he's in, maybe he's in Australia now. I've been Christopher a few times, and uh, for the superstar he is, he's quite down to earth, and he is uh, married to this lovely lady here. What her name is, uh, Michelle. So I would say that Chris, uh, I, I didn't think the UCI would let this happen. I, I don't think it's good for the sport. Um, I think that riders like this should get protection. Uh, they bring a lot of people in to uh, into the sport, and I, I don't think catching them out is going to do anything. You know, this is not good for the Tour de France. This is not good for the UCI. This is not good for cycling. It's not good for Shimano. It's not good for Criterium Shanghai. It, it, it just isn't good for anyone. Is that Marcel Kittle? He's still dark that uh, Michael Matthews was slamming his mitts. And, and um, you know, it's not good for anyone. It is not good for anyone. You know, like. What's this shot here? What's this? La Tap Australia. And so you got Froome there. And you got a few other crew up in the front. So you can see that I'm landing on Chris Froome um, any day of the year. But that, except for the Tour de France. But I'm going, I'm going beyond that. What I'm saying is let's get back to the uh, the hype on the internet right now. Uh, so we've got champion cyclists. This is, this is bad for cycling. This is not good. Now, I'm not one to go, oh my God, this is news for me. This is news for... I, we, we expect these riders and runners and swimmers to have insane, alert, like an abnormal mutant level of, uh, you know, of, of uh, cardio efficiency, you know. So he, had, he got caught with salbutamol, which is like a little asthma drug that all the kids at school take on sports day. It's a drug I used to take on sports day. And in the level apparently is for WADA is 1,000 nanograms per milliliter. And Chris was, I think, apparently busted for 2,000 milliliters, which is a lot. Uh, 2,000, sorry, 2,000 nanograms per mil, which is, a two, I'm not sure how much you have to do that. What's going on here? CBA. Yeah, we've got, we got all sorts of stuff. Um, 53,000 ton money laundering. This is the biggest bank in Australia. You know, so people often shocked when they realize the truth of what goes on behind in professional sports. Um, and the athletes have said, look, you win. If you don't win, we'll get someone else who can win. So if you, know, if you don't dope, you won't cope. Simple as that. So it's just business, man. It's business. I mean, look at all the news here. Look at all the news here. You know, we got Trump. We got power plant stat. This is the world we live in, man. This is where we live in. So Chris Froome busted for asthma drugs. Um, oh, it's no surprise for me. I mean, so it is a surprise for me that they would let it happen. This is, they should not, they should definitely suppress this sort of stuff. It should just, it's not good. I think if you bring a certain amount of cyclists to cycling, then you should get a free ride. You know, you, you're earning your keep, you're, you're earning your income. So I, I think it's it's a slap in the face for Chris Froome, who brings a lot of people into cycling for the UCI to let him get caught like this. This is really, uh, it's not good. So I, I don't understand why the UCI did that. I mean, look at the fans, they want to see mutants. They want to see freaks do 500 watts up a climb after three weeks of racing, you know, like, and jostling in the bunch and everything. So I, I just, I can't believe that the UCI would let this happen. I'm, I'm, I'm repeating myself, but I'm really shocked that the UCI would do, they would let the Chris Froome, I mean, he's like the, the, the golden goose, you know. He's like Peter Sagan. I mean, he's bigger than Peter Sagan. He's, it, it's, it's insane that they would let, let him, let him uh, you know, get, let him happen. That's, um... What the fuck's going on? Is that's Cipollini? Holy shit! <laughs> that's Cipollini on the swole gas. Looks like he's got some makeup in there as well to make himself look even more ripped. 
But, um, you know, it, it is crazy that they let, let that quiz from do it. But there's no doubt about it. If you're doing 450 watts, you know, in the Tour de France and the TT, I mean, you're not doing that in cornflakes and doing right as banana smoothie shake, are you? You know, it's just, it's just we expect the athletes to have insane amount of watts. If they can't deliver, you know, we, we, uh, we ridicule them. We say, oh, you're a has-been, should retire or, or whatever. And bike companies, I mean, you got Specialized, they want Contador to win. you got Pinarello, they want Kroom to win. There's that contractual pressure, that obligation. It's like, you know, you got to win. you got cask helmets on there. you got Oakley sunglasses. They made big money from Cadell and Lance Armstrong. They, they want winners, man. They want, what's this jersey? What's this jersey here? <laughs> That's random. Um, half and half jersey. That would go for a lot in China. If you sold that in the Chinese market, they would, they would give you half a... Half a half a humor for that. This is this is always a funny one. Um, you know, people claiming that Chris Froome uh, just eats avocado, egg, and a bit of uh, dead fish. You know, like this is it, it, hilarious. The, the the nonsense out there. What will they say now that he got busted for doping? Chris Cubs, the fuck up. I've seen eating bananas. You can't push out four hundred fifty watts for an hour uh, on low carb, and you need to be able to push the watts. Otherwise, you uh, you you just can't, you can't train. You can't you know. It, what's the good of you training at two hundred watts? It's no point doing that if you're a Tour de France contender. You have to be able to push massive, massive power, and to do that, you need to cut the fuck up. So to be able to be that that light, but also push out 400, 450 watts, five hundred watts, attack it a thousand watts on the climb, you need carbohydrates in your system. But I'm digressing here. Uh, Chris Froome busted for doping. What's my thoughts? Um, I hope that they just let it slide. I'm disappointed that you said I would let this come up. It's it's just not good for sport or cycling. And I understand the pressures the athletes have to win. Um, the fans expect it. The sponsors expect it. Your wives expect it. Your husbands expect it. Everyone expects you to motherfucking put food on the table, put money in the bank, put that ring on that finger. And they, they, just, they want to do whatever it takes. And if you get caught, they don't really want to know about that. They just want you to do... Do what it takes. Do whatever it fucking takes. So uh, it's unfortunate that Froome has had to come to this uh, situation here. I mean, you risk your health. You risk everything. And uh, he's had a crash there. He's got that's an interesting looking bike as well, isn't it? But uh, that's just where we live in. There's a lot of hypocrisy going on. Um, I read I read some of the comments. People are like, oh my god, Chris Froome's a doper. Like, oh my god, this is team lie. It's like, come on, man. Like. You expect people to be able to ride that fast naturally? Like it's just, it's not humanly possible, man. Is is you look at this? You got people crashing. There's, there's Chris Froome on his back right there. You know, like you got to crash, right? You crash. Uh, you hit your knee, and then you got to go and punch out big watts. I mean, look at that. Look at that knee right there, man. That would fucking kill, man. And this dude here, look, his elbow is killing. His knee, so his carbon bite's getting smashed up. That's Chris Froome down. His Pinarello's fucked. This BMC's about to go down. This dude's, you know, he, he's just, look at that, just skimming the fucking road. Everyone's going, oh my God, there's a gutter there. There's a knee. You know, and then you got to get up and fucking attack at 800 watts and sprint, get your handlebars straight, find your fucking SRM head unit, find your sunnies. And, and you know, you're about to shit yourself as well. You've got to take a dump and now you're crashing and now you got to do 800 watts attack to get back in the bunch. It's like, that's just the way we live in, man. If you don't dope, you won't cope. And uh, I think to expect any of these athletes to do it naturally is just to, ex- to expect too much. Especially in today's society where you're you're disposable by your age, you're disposable by your wattage. You know, if, if you want to be a pro rider and you're not 21 killing it, then it's like good luck, good luck, you know. It's cutthroat as fuck. So 2,000 nanograms per mil, salbutamol, you know, by saving up the 5,000. Let's get a fucking full natty bra going on. But anyway... That's the reality of the situation. Uh, it's no news to my end. The only news really is like, I'm surprised UCI let that happen. I think they should uh, not let that happen. L- l- let us know below. Do you think the UCI should suppress these sort of results? I believe they should. I don't think it helps the sport of cycling. I don't think it helps the UCI. I believe that we should, you know, let the public believe the fairy tale and uh, don't give them any sort of you know, evidence to the contrary of that because it's all it's in all sports it's not cycling it's just running it's swimming it's football it's soccer it's every motherfucking sport man because hey drugs fucking work and if, it, if drugs didn't work athletes wouldn't fucking take them all right there's people say oh the sour doesn't work and like, mate come on you do fucking 20 puffs of that you're puffer and you are pushing out some more watts that's just how it is that's legal or not it's just gonna work 
Anyway, leave your thoughts, comments, or questions down below. I hope UCI uh, makes a valid excuse for this one, just snuffs it over and Chris Froome's not penalised. I hope he keeps his Tura, I hope he keeps his Velta, and I hope they uh, just sniff it down. I think Chris Froome's doing a good thing, just ignore the questions, give a little brief, you know, generic statement, and then just leave it at that, let people forget about it. That's my tip. Don't talk about it too much.